today. Um, happy Bridgerton Monday. <laughs> I felt kind of funny saying that because I don't usually um, film these videos on Monday. It's actually a Saturday today. <laughs> um, but happy Monday anyway to you because you're going to be watching this video on a Monday. Because every single Monday I release a new Bridgerton review video. And I'm so happy that you are here hanging out with me today. Today we are here to talk about When He Was Wicked, which is Bridgerton book six. This one, um, the main character is Francesca. Um, I really liked Francesca because basically we don't really hear a lot about her in the other books. Um, they kind of just say like she got married and moved to Scotland and then we don't really hear from her or about her or like what happens with her life. So I'm really glad she got her own book. Um, her husband's name is John and he is obviously over there in Scotland with her and he has a cousin named Michael who is also always around in Scotland. Um, he kind of does his own thing but um, they call themselves like the little trio because they all always hang out together and they always go on walks together and like do stuff together. Um, and him and Francesca like are really good friends as well and him and John are really good friends so it all works out really well. Um, first of all, I really like this cover. I like all the covers. They're so brightly colored and just so pretty. So I wanted to take a moment to make sure I showed you that whole cover. And then let's talk about this one. Um, so pretty much, uh, I can't say a lot about this without giving away like the main, um, reveal of like a secret and like the plot line kind of. But we learn a lot about Francesca. We learn um, basically what's been going on over there in Scotland. And like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, it's really good though. There is a ton of romance in this one. So make sure you are prepared for that. Um, that kind of threw me off a little bit from this book and it kind of made me a little bit more to this book because like it was kind of cheesy the amount of romance that was in here. Um, but there's a lot of people out there that love romance and if you are reading the Bridgerton series like you kind of have to either like romance or just um, get through it because <laughs> there is so much romance in all of these books that it's just you can't help it. <laughs> Um, but this one was good and we do see a lot of the other siblings in this book even though um, it is Francesca's story. Um, her siblings visit and she visits them and so there is a lot of that still in here which is always fun. I love seeing that in the Bridgerton books. Um, there's really there's a lot that goes on and um, Michael and Francesca's friendship is like something that is really um, helpful in this book, helpful to Francesca because she goes through um, a lot of kind of devastating things in this book and a lot of hard times. And it's really good for her to have like a friend to lean on because her family isn't in Scotland, they're in England. And so it's kind of hard for her to see them all like as often as she needs to or want it, wants to. Um, and for her family to like get to her is kind of a lot. So it's cool that Michael is there to be a friend to lean on. And um, obviously she has her husband John too, but I'm sorry about that beeping sound. That's my um, laundry telling me that it's done. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, yeah, there's a, lot, there's a lot of devastation that happens in Francesca's life and she's very young. Um, when all this happens so it's also kind of sad but she does end up getting through it and comes out better in the end for it um but there's a lot of twists and turns in this book there's a lot that I did not see coming really um and I really enjoyed learning more about Francesca because she is seems like a really sweet like genuine kind-hearted person and um I really liked her so yeah, that's all I am going to be able to say about this book without giving too much away, even though I would love to tell you the whole thing. Um, but I'm gonna stop there. So make sure you check this one out. This one was really good. Also has a beautiful cover. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much it. So I post every single day on my Instagram and I would love to see you over there if you want to go check that out. Also, again, I don't think I really need to say it after six videos now, um, but this is Bridgerton Monday. Every Monday will be Bridgerton Monday until we finish this series and we have eight books, so we're actually almost done with it. 
but make sure you subscribe and put your notification bell on so you won't miss any new videos that come out because I also post a weekly video every single Friday and I would love to see you um, on all of my videos. And if you wouldn't mind giving this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it really does help me out and leave me a comment because I love hearing from you. Um, and that's all I've got to say and I will see you on my next video. Bye!